Hello everybody and welcome to the Video Game Chronicles. Guess what? I have another package and uh, I haven't opened it yet. So we're going to open this on camera. So we got our knife and hopefully we can do this without no problems here. Hold on a minute. Turn the packaging, but oh. this is actually from Japan. So hold on a minute. I'm gonna try to get it with one. I can't do it with one hand. So hold on. As soon as I do that, the alarm goes off. I'll be right back. Now, instead of doing it on my bed, I decided to use my workbench instead to do my package. And uh, it makes it a lot easier, and I'm using the tripod because I was holding the camera when I was trying to open this package. By the way, I got this the day after the Super Bowl. I actually picked the Giants. The Giants won. They won 21 to 17. So, let's get to it. Now it'll be much easier because I won't have to worry about whatever. Let's open this up if we can. Now I probably won't show this until a couple probably a couple days or weeks later don't know and I finally got it you know it's upside down so I'm going to put it right side up excuse that now what is it? well you're going to find out I actually got this from Japan and this was shipped two weeks ago Let's open it up, shall we? Ooh, this is sweet. Sorry about the auto zoom. Hopefully, look at that, folks. We're getting close to it. Let's see if we can open this sucker somehow. It really bubble wrapped this thing, and I can't. I don't even know how to do this. Oh, okay. Just taped it up. Just like so. And here it is, folks. The Nintendo Famicom. It's actually titled Family Computer, but that's alright. And uh, I'm going to look at this baby. It doesn't look too bad, to be quite honest. No, it doesn't look too bad at all. It looks in nice shape. It's not perfect shape, but it's not in bad shape either. Because I actually got this used, so... May need a little cleaning, but that's alright. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look yellowed at all. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, a little scratchy right there, but it's not, it's not bad. I'll tell you that. It's not bad, to be quite honest. I will say that uh, it's not bad at all, and uh, hopefully I'll be doing Famicom reviews in the near future. So, I may actually get another one that's in the box, but not right now. This will be for now, because I didn't have as much money as I thought I would, but... Hopefully when I get more money, I'll probably get one with the, with the box. That's all I really got to say. Peace out. And welcome to the family Famicom in terms of the Video Game Chronicles. Peace. Game on. Now before I end the video here, I want to give an update to all of you that's watching. 
Now, of course, you saw the unboxing of this system. Now, when I showed it, it was a little dirty. So what I basically did in the evening was I cleaned it. And I not only cleaned the outside of it, but I also cleaned the inside of it as well. Because when I opened this up, I found out that it was dirty on the inside. So I ended up cleaning the inside as well. So now it's all clean and presentable. One more thing I got to tell all of you guys is I actually got a Famicom game. This is actually my first. Now I actually got this before the Famicom and it is Yoshi's Cookie for the Famicom. And the reason why I got this and it includes the manual, the box and the game is because I really like this cover. It's better than the NES cover of Yoshi's Cookie. And plus, I wanted a Famicom game, for sure. So that way I could try the Famicom. And what I did was I popped the game in the Famicom. And the Famicom worked. So there's no problems at all. So I will be doing a review on this in the near future, along with the Famicom. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the Famicom disk system yet. Hopefully, I will get that soon. And when I do do get it I will show you that on camera because there are games that I do want to get for it because those games were only exclusive to the Famicom disk system and some are quite different from the NES cartridge NES cartridge versions of of these particular games and that's all I really got to say that's that's been my update and uh, hopefully there'll be Famicom reviews down the road and hopefully I will get more games for the Famicom. That's pretty much it. Peace out to you all. Game on.